Hi, my name is Rick, and today I'd like to talk about uh, charging LiPo, E-Flight LiPo single cell batteries. I uh, generally used in smaller RC airplanes and also mini quad copters. Um, these little batteries have a flying time of approximately five to seven minutes, which doesn't seem long, but if you have five to six of them charged up, you're going to get uh, 30 to 40 minutes of flight time. Um, which is adequate for me. Um, basically, um, I have on the computer screen, I have this battery here, um, a little easier for you to, to read. It's the uh, 1S, which is uh, one cell LiPo battery. It's uh, 3.7 volts and it's 150 milliamp hours. Milliamp hours basically indicates the length of time uh, for flying. Um, it comes in a package similar to this. Um, I have that package here. Um, and basically these batteries, um, when charging them, you want to make sure that when you're charging these batteries that they're not getting warm when you're charging them. So you want to test often for the warmth or the heat generated. There should be, they should be cool to touch when, you, when you're charging them. Um, a lot of times um, when you buy a, I have a, a Blade Nano QX um, copter or mini quad copter and uh, this uses the battery, plugs into here. This, I love this. I just purchased this recently and been flying it a lot. It flies nice. A little touchy to get used to but not too bad. Also I have a Horizon Sports Cub S. Um, a smaller RC plane and I use that both of these use the same battery so when you purchase these you're going to get a little USB charger um, and the USB charger you, know, you can use um, but if you're like I said if you're gonna want five or six charged up all the time you're gonna want to go to something more like this device and we'll talk about this in a second but so if you're gonna use this little uh, USB charger you're going to want to have the uh, the verbiage or the label on the charger and the la and the verbiage or label on the battery uh, facing you, and you'll see that there is a little receptacle here, and that's where the you insert the battery. Uh, this portion of the battery where the terminal leads are go into the receptacle of your charger, and you gently pop that in there like that. Once that's in there, then you would go to your USB port on your laptop. Oh, hold on a second. It's being a little fussy with me. But. And you would uh, you'd insert it like that. And uh, I don't use these because they, they take a longer time for charging. And I don't believe they do as a good a job of charging your batteries as the device that we're going to talk about here in a second. So, but if you want to use them, you're, you're welcome to. Uh, this is made by E-Flight also, and it's, like I said, it's just a little USB charger. Um, what I'd like to talk about, though, the type of charging device that I primarily use, and I'll bring it up here on the screen, is uh, the Horizon Hobby makes a, uh, it's called the Selectra 4.1S, which is these one cell batteries. And they have four, uh, maybe we can zone in or um, zoom in on the, uh, on the picture of that there. So like I said, it's a Selectra 4 port, 1S, 3.7 volt. It's a 3 amp DC LiPo charger. LiPo stands for lithium polymer batteries. That's what these are, are lithium polymer batteries. So <clears throat> to, uh, to use this device, um, you basically, same thing where you're, you're going to have the decal on the battery facing you. Um, and what you do is you have the receptacle on this four port charger. Again, it's the E-Flight Selectra charger. You gently put the, uh, the, and then you'll see the little LED light flash on, 
and that indicates you've got a good hookup between your battery and your charger. One thing I want to note though is always have your charger plugged in before you put your battery into the port. Never char put the battery in first and then plug in. Always have this plugged in first, this charger plugged in first. And you'll see the LED light, it will flash and the more that your ba battery charges, the longer duration of time between the flashes of the LED. And these batteries generally take about 30 to 40 minutes to fully charge. And when you're done, I've kind of timed these, um, you will get about um, anywhere from two minutes to three minutes between flashes. And that's when you know that your battery is fully charged. But again, from the, from the beginning time that you start to charge these, you want to feel your battery to make sure it's not getting warm. If it's getting warm, that is an indication that the battery is possibly going bad and you would, you'd want to get rid of the battery. You do, not want to, um, you do not want to throw these batteries in the garbage. Uh, they are lithium polymer batteries. You can take them to any recycle center and they generally will take them free of charge and they will recycle them. They can start fires. I generally will keep mine when they're fully charged in like a metal coffee can or a metal can and put a metal lid on it. Um, once they're charged up, um, I've seen people take little pieces of hose, cut it to size, and slip it over the electrodes so that the electrodes do not short out on anything metal. Another thing that um, what, I, what I do, um, and if I can find my, uh, my package, oh, right in front of my face here. Um, what I do is I save the package and I put the battery in the package when I'm done. And then you basically, uh, you have a protective carrying case for this battery and it, it keeps the electrodes from shorting out on anything and you can throw them in your, in your metal can. Um, that's basically what I, what I wanted to go over today um, is, was charging these. I uh, hope you have fun using them. Like again, you always want to consider safety first. You want to make sure that, um, that your batteries are not getting warm um, when you're charging them. And you also want to make sure that you're protecting the electrodes on the batteries from shorting out. Again, you want to take any used batteries that are used beyond the service life um, where they're getting warm to your recycle center to be recycled properly. Thanks very much and I hope you have a good time with your, your quadcopters and your uh, RC airplanes. Uh, again, both of these Horizon uh, products, the Blade Nano QX and the Sports Cup S, excellent flying uh, airplanes and great for beginners. They both have safe technology and they both ease you into the RC world. Thank you.